Hey guys, Lacey Elizabeth here. Milk Cosmetics just dropped a brand new primer and I have it right here. This is their Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. Of course, we're gonna battle it out against the Ride or Die Milk Cosmetics Hydro Grip Primer because this one is an all-time cult favorite. I absolutely love it. And we're gonna try it on, test it out, and of course, give this product a score. I can't wait to get into this and try it on. All right guys, let's get started. Let's start by applying the Milk Hydro Grip Primer to one side of my face. I'm just going to take probably a one pump. It doesn't take a lot. This actually spreads super well. So yeah, one pump would probably do your entire face. I am gonna go in right under my eye and on top of my brow. The reason I'm going on top of my brow is because it's a primer it is very humid out and that's actually going to help lock your brow product in place also a good tip add a little bit of powder before you apply your brow product no matter what kind of brow product it is if it's a pomade a pencil or a cream just go in add a little bit of powder it's just going to help set that brow product in place you guys are going to thank me for it let me know in the comments down below how much you love that tip it's just going to help in any humid you know area Next, let's apply the Milk Mattifying Primer. I'm gonna go in with about that much to do the half of my face. We're just going to dot this on. This actually has a bit of a scent to it. It's a very clean scent. I actually don't mind it. It's really pretty and it's not strong and overpowering. Now I do have this little bit of pigmentation right here. So I'm gonna make sure and I add a lot of primer to that. And of course I have a little zit on this side right here. So we're adding just a little extra primer to that area. And I'm just going to take my finger and just smooth all of that in. This glides on. The scent as I'm rubbing it into my skin is kind of picking up just a little bit. It's not horrible. It reminds me of, honestly, this reminds me of like dishwashing liquid. <laughs> the scent, it's not horrible. It's not intense. It's not overpowering. And again, I'm adding just a little bit to my brow as well. But that actually glided on super easy and just, you know, there was just no pull with it. There's no drag. So I like that quite a bit for a mattifying primer. Now that I have the primer on both sides of my face, what do you guys think? Like this is definitely more glowy and this is showing up so much more matte. So even though this side is scented and I don't mind the scent, it's not it's not overbearing, it's not super strong. This side with the Hydro Grip Primer has absolutely no scent. So if you are a girl that is into no scent whatsoever, definitely pick up this one right here. For foundation, today I decided to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way. This is a medium to full coverage, very buildable foundation. So I actually thought this would complement the primer on both sides of my face really well because it's not terribly dewy and it's not terribly matte. It's just kind of a very undetectable foundation. To apply, I'm gonna be using my It Cosmetics brush, and this is a beautiful brush. I talk about it all the time. I'm just gonna go in and stipple some of that product. I'm gonna start on the matte side, and we're just going to just cover that. Okay, so far, it is not pilling. It's actually going on super smoothly. Not mad at it at all. It's not... Like it's not dragging when I apply the foundation. It's really pretty. I'm just gonna go in, put a little bit of foundation up on my ear. I super love the finish of that. So this primer is one that I've used a lot. I have gone through at least two to three bottles. I love it, it's amazing. When I'm working on set or doing something for a photo shoot. So it's all in the name, like this grips the foundation like it doesn't pull but it like just locks it in place I wanted to show you guys how this is looking so again this is the matte side and this is the hydro grip side so this side clearly looks a lot more dewier this side definitely looks matte just from touching it this side almost it almost like dried down to a really beautiful finish when this side is actually just a little bit more tacky and I love the Hydro Grip side being this side, the more dewier side, but this is just gorgeous. Like this is stunning. Like this is giving me a really beautiful finish. 
where I feel like I don't even need to go in with powder or just a light dusting of powder. And I love how it's just almost like an eraser, like as if I took a magic eraser to my face and it's just completely blurred. I am super impressed with this matte formula compared to the original. I actually really like it. And I didn't think I would because I love, 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 love this side. Like this hydro grip side has been a ride or die for so many years, but this is stunning. So I actually want to go in, I'm going to add some concealer. Let's add some bronzer. Let's kind of really work this into the skin. I want to see how this looks under all those products. And I'm going to use cream products today. So for concealer, why not? Let's go in with the matching Too Faced Born this way. Multi-use sculpting concealer. This is a good one. I love this one. If you guys haven't tried this, this has been on the market for a while, but I love this concealer. I'm just going to go in, just apply my concealer like I always would. What concealers are you guys loving? Let me know in the comments down below. Have you guys tried that new Dior? I love it. I love it so much. And is it waterproof? Yes. Yes, it is. It's amazing. So that is something if you guys haven't tried it, go out and try it. It's fantastic. I'm just going to blend in that concealer. Okay, so blending in the concealer on the matte side. Stunning results. And it just looks even more flawless. Like it looks even more airbrushed. I'm blown away at this matte formula. Like, wow, like super shocked. I'm just gonna go in, blend a little on the Hydro Grip side. Now I love this because I do enjoy a more dewier look, but I'm loving this matte. That's just stunning to me. I'm almost ready to give this a score, but I wanna see how this is going to apply with a cream kind of like a cream bronzer. Let's go in and just bronze a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in and pick up just a little bit of that product. This is amazing. I love this formula. At first I thought the color would be really too dark for me, but I super love it. And I'm just gonna go in and apply some under my jaw. So I'm blending this out on the matte side. And I think that's flawless. Like, look at that blend. Like, that just looks, wow. Like, just amazing. Now, blending it out on the other side, the Hydro Grip side, which I'm used to because, obviously, it's one of my favorite products. It's like a completely different blend. It just, it actually drags just a little bit more. Not in a horribly bad way, but this side just, just has, like, that natural flow to it. It's just like a beautiful ease. This side, because it is just a little bit more tacky on the skin, I just feel like it picks up just a little bit, but not in a bad way. It still blends out evenly, but the other side definitely gives you a better, smoother, more of a glide to it when you blend. Okay, there we have it. I've got on some bronzer. I've got on some concealer. We did the foundation test. I I'm loving this. You guys know what time it is. It is time to give this product a score. Starting with application. So this product applied beautifully to the skin. It didn't pill under the foundation. It applied just beautiful. And when I applied the concealer on, blended out beautifully. When I applied the bronzer again, it just went on and blended out so good. I'm gonna have to give this one a 10 out of 10. Let's talk texture. All right, so of course you guys know this side is the Hydro Grip side and this side is the mattifying yeah. side, but I wanna to talk to you guys, now that it's been on and it's been on for like a little while, it feels different. And I need to talk to you guys about this because now this is the more moisturizing side. This side is not drying. It's not giving that like sucked out dry feeling, but it's definitely just a beautiful product. And I like the way it feels. It just looks naturally blurring. This side, which is a product that I love, like I 100% love this product. Compared to this side, texture wise, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I kind of lost all of its mattifying properties when I applied the other products, the foundation, the concealer and the bronzer. 
I just feel like they're looking so similar. It does look a little bit more matte, if you will, but I feel like it's so close that do you really need to go out and buy this product? You know, we're gonna talk about it, but this is really, it's a beautiful product and I'm not mad at it, but I just feel like now that it's been sitting on my face for a while and I'm looking at the monitor here, looking in my mirror and I'm really looking like because I'm looking for those textures I'm looking for all these things that I can tell you what might be wrong with it and I'm thinking it looks pretty much the same so that I'm gonna have to give this one a 9 out of 10 I love it I love it but I'm gonna have to give this one a 9 out of 10 for texture and finally value okay so they both come in a mini size which is the size I have right here for this video so this is a $24 product as well as this one and it comes in a full size and then this one you get the jumbo size. This one doesn't have a jumbo size yet but if it does I would recommend picking it up because so you're going to go through it. It's very pretty. Super super pretty. Now normally I have the full size in this one like I said I've gone through it. It's empty. It's one of those things that I had to pitch. But I love this product. This product. Loving it a little bit more but I want to talk to you guys about the cost of it if we will. This one is a gel. It's going to glide on. You're going to get a little bit more bang for your buck out of this one. This one I found I had to put in like put on, I should say, about two pea sized amounts just to do half my face because it doesn't smooth out. It does. It does smooth out, but you're just not going to get the same amount of glide with this one. So you are going to go through this one just a little bit faster because it is a cream. I really like this product, so I am going to give it a 10 out of 10 because I love the fact that they do make a mini in both size and a medium and basically a jumbo one, if you will. So I love that they're doing that so it'll fit everyone's budget. So I'm definitely giving this one a 10 out of 10 for value. Bringing us to a final score of 29 out of 30. Now, should you buy it, wishlist it or avoid it, definitely run out and pick this one up. You need to try this. If you guys love this one, you're gonna love this one. This one is fabulous. So definitely run out and pick this one up. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe so you guys don't miss when I drop a new video. All right guys, until next time, live, love, and the bless. Bye guys.